hey guys in this video i'm going to show you how to watch hdr10 content hdr10 video files on your computer without an hdr10 compatible screen so this involves using pod player i have loaded a file already on pod player if you don't know what pod player is you can just google it uh, download it um, anyway let's see the video here so if you right click on the window go to playback system information or control f1 come to file info you'll see the details of the video here so the video that i have uses the new hevc codec the high efficiency video coding and as you can see the hdr format here is the msmpte or hdr10 this is sort of the usual format for hdr10 uh, as you can see also here it's a 4k video 2160 by 3840 16 by 9 aspect ratio color space is quite important this is the yuv uh, we will see why this is important later um, also the color primaries is the bt 2020 Other stuff is not that important. All right, just want to show you that I'm actually not using an HDR10 screen here. It's just a normal screen from I think I bought the screen in 2008. Uh, it's the Dell S2340L, so it's like a 23-inch screen. I bought this uh, a long time ago, about 10 years ago, I think. All right, now, as you've seen, so the video that's loaded is an HDR10 uh, video. So what you want to do on pod player, because if you watch this video in normal mode, uh, it's going to look a bit washed out. So what you want to do is go to video, go to pixel shader, and then enable these two options here. This is your HDR10 color correction both of them need to be on uh, you just click on the other and then you right click again video and then click on the other so you make sure that there's these two check marks here now some other slight things i've done on the video on the settings rather is if you come to the color spaces uh, I think by normally it's on auto here so I have put it on BT 709 some videos use 709 uh, you can probably try to use this one because as we've seen this is the color space for the uh, video that I've loaded I've also put full range on the color range here so it's full normally I think it's only limited 16 to 235 so I've put it from 0 to 235 also adjusted the brightness and contrast slightly this was from a comparison I did with the so I played the same video on another player and just to get the colors just right especially the blues I adjusted these it's just a little bit probably don't need to worry about them but, uh, I'm just gonna go now to I think that's about it actually. Let me go to offset. Yeah, it's on full range, so that's fine. Alright, now the video decoder. This is on filter control. Uh, if you go to the built-in video, you just need to just replicate the settings. So use DXVA, prioritize the 3D11. That's direct 3D. Uh, resolution limit. So my screen can only do 1080. So if you have like a 4K screen or something, you can probably increase this to uh, 2160 or whatever you have. Yeah, just replicate these settings, VLD and built-in, built-in, built-in. These are the recommended settings. So wherever you see recommended, you select that. 
by default they should be like this anyway and then also your dxpa2 copy back you're going to set it to your graphics card i'm putting it on the 1070 that i have um, i've tried to use the like some people recommend that you use the mad vr it's a uh, let me see if i can find it here. But it's one of the uh, it's one of the decoders or renderers. Let me see if I can find it. Here. <laughs> so many settings on uh, pod player. Yeah, so on video, the video renderer is on auto. So some people will suggest that you use Mad VR or Mad Sheet video renderer. I tried to use it, but uh, it didn't work very nicely for me. Especially, I think with this HDR business, it didn't quite work. So I've reverted back to Auto. Now I think Auto is going to use my Direct 3D. Uh, if you want, you can just select it directly here. I just select Direct 3D 11. Uh, Direct 3D 9 is an old version of DirectX. So if that works for you, you can select it. But I use the 11. You can play around with these. Even, even the OpenGL one, you can try and use that also. But uh, select it Auto. And that's pretty much it. There's a whole bunch of other things that you can set here. But, uh, yeah, most of it is not that important. Usually the default settings are fine. All you need to do is worry about the video renderer auto, color 709 or 240 here, and full range. You can adjust these slightly to get some good color. And uh, you can also do, as I said, the video code and part here on filter control replicate these settings here and that should be about it thanks